Respect for the earth, respect for the water, respect for the creator, respect for life itself. In our language, we don't call it, it doesn't sound like we're Indian, we're, we're human being the way it says. It means human being. And that's what we are when he put us here on this earth. We're so connected with Mother Earth. We are so connected here. And all we are are visitors on this planet. That's all. Take care of her while, while we're here. Give thanks to her. There's so much of it, you know, to tell in a little while and try to condense it because it's, it's so much. And it's not one bit romanticized. It, in fact, it's so simple that it's hard to believe. Across the canyon, in the echo of your drum. How oh, I am Chief Arvo Looking Horse. These are the words of my relative. My name is Eddie Spears. I am the seventh generation. My ancestors were right. They foretold there would come a time when all life would be threatened because of the abuse of our natural resources. They also told us we had a choice and that the answers would come with the wind. Half of America's electricity can be provided by pure native wind that blows freely across our homelands every day. Join us to secure the future for generations to come. Native pride nationwide, native sound side by side. Gotta stop the drill and save the caribou. Who's gonna save you from all this? So it's all about. I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News Brief. Thunderstorm, America's Last Frontier, an anti-oil drilling concert tour movie made by singer Robbie Romero of the American Indian band Red Thunder, will premiere at a United Nations Earth Summit in South Africa on August 1st. The film combines concert footage with interviews of indigenous Alaskans opposed to drilling in an Alaskan area called the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Since the nation's worst oil spill, the people believe that the oil is gone. But crude oil still remains in the oil spill zone. If there's any oil spills on the tundra up in the Arctic Refuge, there is no way that the oil industry can clean it up. What's up, world? I'm Sway with an MTV News Brief. Now, one debate currently brewing in Congress is about oil drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. Robbie Romero, who is an environmental activist musician working to protect the wildlife refuge, did a film on the subject called American's Last Frontier, and will show it at a forum on indigenous issues at the UN May 14th. That's the news for now. Stay tuned for more at 10 to the hour, right here on MTV. The main feature tonight is a rockumentary all the way from Alaska. We're entering a time where we need to really shift the paradigm of how we think about our relationships with each other and with the land and with the animals. What's this tour about? It's, <laughs> it's about cultural survival. It's about basic human rights for indigenous peoples. It's about uh, freedom. Hi, 
I'm Serena Alchel with an MTV News Brief, a short movie called Hidden Medicine is currently on the film festival circuit. Now For more information, you can check their website at www.eaglethunder.com. And that is the news for now. Stay tuned for more at 10 of the hour every hour right here on MTV. In medicine, the film is very much about the environment. It's also about spirituality. It's also about modern science and ancient wisdom. I want you to carry the warnings of our spiritual leaders. When you start cutting down forests, you start destroying biodiversity, so our medicines are being destroyed. And that's a tragedy. by the band Red Thunder, the native band on the tour, to promote awareness that native people are still alive in this country and there are certain issues that we still face, whether it's, you know, loss of land, um, environmental problems, health problems. Native peoples in America today are seeking protection under the U.S. law for their religious freedom and the right to protect their sacred lands. The Black Hills, Bear Butte, Mount Graham, these are just a few examples of the ongoing struggle to save these holy places. This is an issue that affects us all. Black Hills is a sacred place, and it was always sacred for our Lakota people. We are Earth people. We pray with the land and the earth and the animals, the winged people. This is where I belong. This is where my people is. All my relatives is here. And I know they're surrounded me. They're happy to see me. And I'm happy for them to touch me. This is how strong I am with this mountain. Do you know a Native American? Maybe you rode one lately. Maybe you drank one last night. Seen one on the Late Late Show? Cheered for one lately? Maybe you've been to a sweat. Smoke them piece by. Come on, man, times have changed. Free your mind. It is very important that we bring back love into our families.
live program from Moscow to you uh, across the world, across the globe, and bringing you positive stories, things of hope. Sometimes I call our planet as our mother. We are part of the Earth, and the Earth is part of us.